Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is quite different from my usual content. Of course, I also want to share with you other things I'm passionate about, but that will just pop up once in a while. And in today's video, I have an unboxing and slight review that it's not fountain pen, ink, nor Hobonichi related. And if you're interested to know my thoughts, please keep on watching. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Karen. I'm a lefty who loves fountain pens, inks, journaling, and Hobonichi. If you love that kind of content, hope you can consider subscribing to my channel for more. I have with me a paper bag from Diptyque, and if you're not too familiar, Diptyque is a luxury French brand that's based in Paris. They have international shops, and if you're from the Philippines, a local department store called Rustans carries this brand. They also have it in their online uh, platform, which is rustans.com, and also at trunk.ph. This video isn't sponsored. I bought this with my own money, but hopefully someday down the line. Wink, wink. Hint, hint. <laughs> and there are also diptych boutiques all over the metro. So just go to their website for their locations. So diptych produces perfumes, scented candles, and oil diffusers, among others. Diptych bottles are also quite unique. Each scent has its own portrait that makes it quite unique it's also monochrome and gives it an old world vibe so to speak so they're not just wonderful perfumes but their bottles diffusers and candle holders can be used as home decor so let's unbox this um, i purchased this from rostan's shangri-la and one thing about purchasing it um, in person is that they give you freebies. They give you samples. And I love it. The, the box itself is quite lovely to smell. It has its own scent or maybe it, it just seeped through. <laughs> okay, so the SA who assisted me gave me these... Um, body gels so it's a cleansing hand and body gel and it's the same scent i don't know how to pronounce it so it's so like i mentioned earlier each scent has its own like unique uh, logo so these are really handy for traveling or just putting it in your purse for a hand cleanser so this is free it's a gift with purchase so very interested and excited to try it out on to the main event the perfume that i got is called leo papier it's eau de toilette and it's in the 50 ml i got it in 50 ml there's a bigger um, bottle 100 ml and the price for this 50 ml bottle is at 6,550 pesos. And as mentioned, you see with the papier, the design is different from the one in the body gel. So let's open this up. So honestly, this is my first ever Diptyque product and what really got my attention was obviously the name. I'm not one to collect or blind buy scents and perfumes because for me, perfumes trigger memories, emotions, and sometimes people. For example, rose perfumes remind me of my grandmother as that is what she always wears to church. On the other hand, I sometimes consciously buy a perfume and associate it with an activity like traveling. On one of our previous family trips abroad, I forgot to pack my favorite perfume. So I purchased a bottle of My Burberry at Changi Airport 
for our connecting flight to London. So we spent almost three weeks traveling and now my Burberry perfume reminds me of all the fun I had while I was in the UK. The name really caught my attention because they were marketing it with a writing experience. So paper, writing, brushstroke, analog, and old school. So even their marketing materials had photos of the perfume on a desk and mostly paint brushes and a suspiciously looking calligraphy nib. But obviously, as someone who loves to write, I would see this as someone who can reference it to writing and journaling. I mean, you know, it's a blank canvas. So whether you're an artist, a writer, a chronicler, or a free spirit, you are bound definitely by your imagination. I can already smell uh, the perfume. And we'll do a spray test. So let me just take out my watch because I will be spraying it on my right wrist. Okay. So this is what the bottle looks like. You know, it's very classic, very timeless. And behind it, you can see, you know, just dots, brushes, strokes, you know, something that you do on paper. So it has this cap that's black and you have the diptyque embossed there at the top okay so let's just do some spritzes and then i can share my thoughts about it okay so one thing to note when you are spraying perfume is that you let it dry naturally so you don't do anything to agitate it you don't rub it you don't press on it you just let it dry you let it mix with your body chemistry you let it mix with your sweat and the best way to know if a scent matches with your body chemistry is that you take a whiff after a day of you know, doing whatever it is that you do, whether you're in the office, you're running some errands, you work up a light sweat, and if it still smells good on you, then that perfume is a keeper. So according to their website, the notes for the Lo Papier are White Musks, Mimosa, Blonde Woods Accord, and Rice Steam Accord. So... I like white musks. I know that it blends well with my body chemistry. And, you know, rice steam and blonde woods, they're very gender neutral. Anybody can wear that scent. So I know that this is something that's not, you know, purely just for women or men. For me, aside from it being musky, it also has a powdery smell. There's a slight peppery note at the start. But it just, you know, mellows down and just blends nicely with the powdery and musky scent. Okay, some of my thoughts on this one. And according to their website, this scent really invokes a creative encounter. And, and it's when the hand ink and the blank sheet are as one. It's also an invitation to create, and I totally agree with their statement. You know, personally, this kind of scent, you know, it, it reminds me of a blank canvas. It's something that you can put your own memories into it. Maybe wearing it while you're in a serious journaling session. If you use journaling as part of your therapy, this may also help you calm your nerves. This is also a good blind buy for a special someone, a family friend who can be as young as teenagers or adolescents or someone like your grandparents, your grand aunt. You know, for me, this scent is not offensive. It doesn't assault the senses. 
and you know it reminds me of you know the scent of someone after taking a bath a shower and you know this one it kind of prolongs that kind of smell so you go through the day and of course the shower scent wears off as time goes by but i think you can reinforce it with this scent so so if you're probably in the service or hospitality industry like like you're a nurse a doctor you are a medical frontliner you are a teacher or maybe a daycare um, teacher i think this is a good scent to wear because you you just smell nice you smell clean you smell fresh and that scent can stay with you throughout the day and i think this is something that's good for people with you know very sensitive um, olfactory senses someone who is you know quite sensitive to strong perfumes i think this is something that they can probably you know tolerate at the very least and appreciate so yeah in the office you can wear it on days that are just you know there's not much going on you're not presenting it's just one of those days that you're on your desk you're just doing some research there's not much collaboration all of your meetings are online and virtual if i don't want to stand out in the crowd but i still want to have that lasting unobtrusive you know impression then this scent is for you and i highly recommend that you try it that is it for my reveal and first impressions and suggestions on this type of perfume this is the diptyque leo papier this is the 50 ml eau de toilette for your consideration something that's fresh and light floral with that musky powdery undertone that's perfect for anybody of any gender of any age okay so that is it if you've enjoyed this video hope you can give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in my next video bye guys